In question 9, we have to find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. So we have to find the smallest perfect square number which is a multiple of each of these numbers 4, 9 and 10. So here's how we will solve this problem. We will do it in two steps. In the first step, we will find the LCM of these three numbers 4, 9 and 10. And then in the second step, we will find a multiplier by which to multiply that LCM to make it into a perfect square. So the resulting number that we get after step 2 will be a multiple of all the three numbers and it will also be a perfect square. So let me show you both of these steps. So in the first step we have to find the LCM of 4, 9 and 10. So we write the prime factored prime factorized form of each number. So 4 is equal to 2 into 2. 9 is equal to 3 into 3 and 10 is equal to 2 into 5. So from this we can write the LCM easily. So the LCM, the maximum number of 2's in any number is 2 in 4. So the LCM should have 2 repeated twice. Then the maximum number of 3's is also 2. So the LCM should have 3 repeated twice. And then the maximum number of 5's is 1 in the number 10 so the LCM should have one repetition of 5 so the LCM of these two numbers is uh, 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 if you want you can write this as a number also this is 4 into 9 36 into 5 180 but we will be basically using the prime factorized form of the LCM for the next step so in the next step we have to find an appropriate multiplier by which to multiply this LCM to get a perfect square. So the LCM once again is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. Now if you pair up the prime factors you have a pair of 2, you have a pair of 3 but this 5 is left unpaired. So by what number should you multiply the LCM so that you get a perfect square? Well that number has to be 5 so that you can complete this incomplete pair of 5. So if you multiply the LCM by 5, you get the number 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. Now this number is a perfect square because it has a pair of 2, a pair of 3 and a pair of 5 and because it is a multiple of the LCM, it is also a multiple of all the three numbers 4, 9 and 10. So this is the number we want, the smallest number which is a multiple of all the three numbers 4, 9 and 10 and which is also a perfect square. So what is this number? This number is 4 into 9, 2 into 2 is 4, 3 into 3 is 9, 5 into 5 is 25 and 4 into 9 is 36, 36 into 25 is 900. Or you could just take the LCM into 5, LCM is 180, so 180 into 5 is 900. So the answer for this question is the smallest such number is 900 and this completes question number 9. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.